Marine authorities say hundreds of kilometres of the Great Barrier Reef hit by Cyclone Yasi could take a decade to recover. But tourists are heading back to the attraction by the boatload. Lisa McSimovic reports from the Great Barrier Reef. A natural wonder of the world and one of the country's most spectacular tourism drawed cards. On the surface, ocean life is in full swing. But underneath, the Great Barrier Reef, like so much of Queensland, has suffered. In the uh, immediate path of the cyclone, there certainly will be some, uh, some damage over a, probably a fairly small area. Uh, I think the fact that there was a high tide is certainly going to be beneficial to the reef system. Uh, you will get breakages of, of, of small corals in those areas. Yesterday we had a very busy day. Authorities are yet to fully survey the extent of the damage, but they believe it's likely to be similar to that caused by Cyclone Larry five years ago. Already broken coral is washing up on nearby beaches. But the outer reef has survived unscathed. Look, I was pleasantly surprised. I was expecting some impact uh, out there. Uh, I went to the northern side of the reef, which is where it would have got most of the, the wave action, and there's very little damage out there at all. It's incumbent, therefore, on all of us in the tourism industry and our political leadership to actually come out there and encourage people to actually make a booking and to have a holiday in Queensland. Tour boats resumed just three days after the storm and it seems visitors haven't been deterred. No apprehension whatsoever on my part. No, we didn't want to miss the experience. We could have changed our itinerary but we would have had regrets if we couldn't have done this. I will encourage many Chinese people to come here. Chinese New Year is traditionally a very busy time for reef tourism and at the moment the vast majority of visitors are foreigners. But the reality is 70% of northern Queensland's tourism is domestic and it'll be a challenge drawing Australians back here after a month of natural disasters. It's still a lovely place to come, Queensland. Yeah, I love it. The weather, definitely, compared to Tassie. <laughs> For those parts of the Great Barrier Reef that have been disturbed, regeneration will begin immediately but it could be some time before it returns to its former glory. Lisa Maximovic, ABC News, Great Barrier Reef.